It's been some crazy busy weeks for AI. Google has a new text-to-video tool. OpenAI released a new GPT model that can speak and someone thinks it's their voice. Multiple studies have found that AI is really good at understanding humans. A whole bunch of people who worked on AI safety left OpenAI. And I'll tell you why I think we're totally not taking this seriously enough. According to a recent report from Stanford University, both Corporate and private investment into AI has seen a decline in 2023, but funding for generative AI models like ChatGPT increased by almost a factor eight from 2022 to reach more than $25 billion in 2023. The vast majority of that money comes from the United States. The cost of the larger models is increasing rapidly. Note that the vertical axis is a lock scale. OpenAI's new GPT version cost about $78 million just to train and Google's Gemini Ultra cost a whopping 191 million. But hey, at least we're getting something out of it. For example, this crotcheted elephant. It was produced by Google's new text-to-video tool, which is called Veo, and can create videos at ultra-high definition up to one minute long. Unfortunately for the EU, there isn't even a waiting list yet, which is too bad. Meanwhile, here's an image of a crotcheted Einstein. Then we have the launch of GPT 4.0. O. The O stands for Omni, the Latin word for all, because the model can process text, audio, images, and video. They've put out some very neat demos. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Carl's correct. Did this voice sound familiar to you? The actress Scarlett Johansson thinks it's hers. It turns out that OpenAI made her an offer for usage rights a while ago, but she declined. She thinks it still sounds very much like her, but does it? I mean, listen to it yourself. It has been an absolute pleasure. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. In any case, Johansson hired a lawyer who sent letters and OpenAI removed this voice. Another odd thing that's been going on at OpenAI is that multiple people left and the super alignment team has disbanded. This group of researchers was tasked with making sure that the goals and values of an artificial general intelligence would be aligned with humans, so, you know, to avoid human extinction. It seems like a good idea. But apparently the super alignment group didn't feel like they were appreciated. One of the people who left is John Leike, who was head of the super alignment team, and another, Ilya Sutskeva, one of the co-founders of the organization, who already last year raised concerns about the CEO, Sam Altman. It doesn't seem to have been a big fallout, Maybe more like an alignment problem? They could have asked AI for help, maybe to be more persuasive, because a recent study in more than 800 people found that they find GPT-4 is significantly more convincing in debates than a human, especially if it was given access to some personal information that was anonymized and shared in the initial survey. Even more creepy, another recent study found that large language models like GPT are as good as humans in coming up with a theme theory of mind. That's the ability to understand what someone else was probably thinking in a given situation. In this study, they compared the abilities of more than 1,900 humans with several large language models, including GPT-4 and Metaslama. The humans and AIs were then asked to complete five typical theory of mind tests, such as understanding irony or that someone else can't possibly know what you know. GPT-4 came out on top in most categories even better than humans. So what's next? I have little doubt that we'll get to artificial general intelligence. The question is not whether it'll happen, but just when. Personally, I think that these current models look more impressive than they are because they're missing a lot of information. They don't know, can't know, for example, that humans have bones and that these bones move in some ways and not others. They're missing a lot of physical information and it'll be difficult to fix that because in 
contrast to text and images, there's not a lot of data to train on. This is why I think AGI is at least five years in the future. And yes, I worry about it, but not about alignment. That'll become a problem eventually. But the much more obvious first problem is not the AGI, but the people who own them. They will suddenly have enormous power and influence because their AGI will tell them exactly what they need to say and do to be convincing. And humans are very predictable especially because they believe they are not. Maybe the Chinese government will just convince us that democracy is for the weak. Or maybe Putin will convince us that we should all join the Soviet empire. Or someone will convince us that he's God's son and we need to follow his Ten Commandments. Oh, wait. Artificial intelligence is really everywhere these days. If you want to learn more about how neural networks and large language models work, I recommend you check out the courses on Brilliant.org. Brilliant.org offers courses on a large variety of topics in science, computer science and mathematics. All their courses have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. Some even have executable Python scripts or videos with little demonstration experiments. Whether you want to know more about large language models or quantum computing, want to learn coding in Python or know how computer memory works, Brilliant has you covered. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with their course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course, I have a special offer for users of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabina, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days. And you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.